But at the moment we can see two bright flashes, three flashes from the other side of the channel, and three great puffs of smoke, another fourth. And any moment now, the shells will be arriving over this side. Four columns of smoke going up on the far side as the convoy goes past us here. And there's the first explosion. And the second. Just a very short front way in front of us in the sea here. A tremendous column of water goes up. There's a third bomb just come down now. And there's one, uh, rather, uh, one more to come, and there it is. All those four completely wide of the convoy, as they've all been so far, as the convoy seems past us slowly here. In each of those spaces where you heard those tremendous explosions, there's a great swirl of water goes up, a cloud of smoke and spray in the air still. It's an extraordinary feeling as you see the flash right over on the far side of the coast, and then the little column of smoke goes up from it. And then we wait for the explosion over this side. There are two more just to the left of us now. One you've heard the explosion already, and a third. All still wide of the convoy, and a fourth. Well, things are a bit calmer now, and we've got more time to explain just what has been going on and what is going on now. The bombardment is absolutely terrific from the far side. We've heard lots of rumors about shells being fired from the French coast. But this time, they certainly were being fired, so they fell down in front of us here. The pieces of shells falling behind, I've just picked one of them up, and it's still too hot to hold for more than a few seconds. The ships escorting the convoy have been setting up a smoke screen, which has been blown full along by the wind, and still, there's not a single ship in this convoy which has been badly damaged, or damaged at all, for that matter. It up in the sky now. Just a few moments ago, the German bombers came over here, just a little bit further down the coast, towards the convoy. The convoy got past here absolutely untouched, under that tremendous fire from shells from the French coast. The bombers were just over the coast for a few moments, tremendous anti-aircraft fire going up, the sky filled with black puffs. And now they've been chased out to sea, chased out by about 12 or 13 of our British fighters. They're going out to sea now, over towards the French coast, absolutely hell for leather. I don't seem to like the look of it over here just one bit. I'm tearing out to sea now. You see them making absolutely straight away towards the French coast. And it doesn't look from here as though they've had any more effect on that convoy than those shells sent over to attempt to put into effect Hitler's so-called blockade of this country. Once again, we can't repeat too emphatically that that convoy sailed past here, the whole lot of it, absolutely untouched. And you can just picture to yourselves some of the bravery that that demands on the part of the men who are sailing in those ships, just carrying quite quietly on with their job. There's very little else they can do. The rest, they've got to put all their trust in our boys and the fighter machines. And as you know by now, they can put their trust there pretty firmly. Now we can just see the last of those planes flying out to sea now, over towards the French coast. And it looks as though their damage has been nothing at all. <laughs> 